and with the bestness of the web. But with Copilot, we're unlocking the knowledge of the service. Today, I'm excited to introduce the, co the authoring Copilot in SharePoint, which is set to transform the way the pages and sites get created. Our journey begins in the new SharePoint Start experience. You see a seed of templates, and when you hover over them, you start to see a prompt show up. Let's go ahead and modify it. Now, I'm gonna build a new Canvas update status. So I'm gonna give it some information. I wanted sections for key progress, timeline, and in many cases, when you're building something like this, you have a document you wanna source it from. So I'll pick that too. Next, I am a native Spanish speaker, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Spanish as a language, and wait for it. Fantastico! You get the amazing, visually stunning looking page. Come on, it's pretty good. <laughs> Professional and comprehensive that gets me started. From here, I can go ahead and start fine tuning it. I can use the editor of palette to rewrite the text to make me sound from casual to professional. And I know this is Spanish, you probably can understand it, but trust me, it's pretty good. <laughs> Switching over. Now, I can also fine tune by not only the, or the, the, words, but also I have this section here, and it has these images and text. Looks pretty good, but with design ideas, we take your very own content and generate different ideas for how your content could look better. Giving you, making you a designer, giving you some visually compelling, saving you time, and also giving you inspiration. And if you're using organizational fonts, custom fonts for your organization or on your site, we also use those to generate these ideas. With these new capabilities, what used to take hours or days can now be done in minutes. With the authoring co-pilot making easier than ever to create content and the ability to create your own co-pilot agent that's grounded on your data, we expect to see an explosion of content in SharePoint. This is where bringing SharePoint and Power Platform together to build business process and make it reusable will be key. Let me show you how simple it is. So here I am in Project Sphere, and I'm gonna be hiring for this new team that's gonna be working on this project, and I need a way to manage the candidates and the recipes. So I'm gonna go to hit, click Create Document Library, and I can start from Microsoft Templates, but luckily and thankfully, my organization has set up a hiring document, the library template that I can use. Fast forward, and this is what it looks like. Now I have a candidates list with resumes that I can use and track. Now I have this recruiting stage column right here. And whenever I set a candidate over to spring free screen behind the scenes, a flow triggers to send a notification in Teams to the rest of my interview team. That way they can review the resume and schedule the interview. Next, back to SharePoint, I can go and we, you know, we like some of the candidates, that's good. So I can go ahead and submit for their approval directly from the approval status column. Or I can click request it and see here that I can request directly as well. And if I'm used to using Teams instead, I can do it all from the approval app in Teams. Kind of showcasing how all of this is together built on top of the Power Platform. Pretty nice, right? I have one more thing to show you. Now, let's bring it all together with the power of, with showcasing the power of Duke using AI document processing and business process together to build what we're calling content-driven solutions. Now, if any of you out there have worked with contracts, invoices, statements of work, then we have a solution for you to help you manage your agreements. In the Agreements app, you get a view of what your agreements you're working on are. From here, you can go ahead and click Create to start your own agreement. In this case, let's go build one for Statement of Work. Next, I'll pick up the supplier that's going to be using this, so in this case, I'll pick Fabricam. And after that, it opens a native work where the AI document processing pre-fills for me metadata, saving me time. Now, this is ready for e-signature. I set e-signature and Carlos as the signer. This is using SharePoint's native 
capability, e-signature capability. Next, Carlos now gets the agreement, gets to review it, and signs it. There you can see. Now over back to me, where I receive and say, I see that he received, he signed it, and now the agreement is executed. And just like that, all this showing that Power Platform and SharePoint together can do great things. Over to you, Jeff.